How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to look at how I was able to get almost 34,000 points in this last capital raid weekend. Let's dive right into the first attack. We're looking at a builder's workshop hit. So here we are doing the first attack and we notice that everything is sort of piled onto this left hand side. We've got the three major splash defenses. So we drop the graveyards over each of them. And then the last one, the other giant cannon is up in the corner so we don't really have to worry about that. What's nice about attacking from this side is that there are multiple entry points. So you can sort of spread out all of your troops. So I went with one pack on the left, one pack on the right, and then a couple of wizards up the middle. And I'm just trying to make sure that these packs of wizards in the middle have some of the rams tanking for them. So far everything is looking good. A bunch of the wizards are still surviving, which is fantastic. Both the giant cannons are down, and now the blast bow is down. We'll speed up through the rest of this, because things are starting to die out. We have one wizard left and one giant, and they are able to take out that spear thrower. And not quite the last one, but we get 5,810 from this first attack. Now we're going to take a look at a golem quarry. This one is the standard layout. I'm trying things a little bit differently. I'm going to drop one graveyard in between both of these splash defenses. One on top of the blast bow, of course. And then one over this multi-mortar. We have our a little bit of a different army composition. Because we brought in two of the skeleton barrels to swarm this right-hand side of the base. And then we're trying to create the multiple groups like we did in that last attack. So we have a bunch of wizards going down in the middle and then we have a couple of wizards on the right hand side along with all those skeletons. And so far, I think all of the wizards in the middle have survived which is nice. Skeletons take out the blast belt up top. And now there's really only this multi-mortar on the right hand side of course, these wizards in the middle here are starting to take some damage, but there are a couple of skeletons and barbarians out in front to help tank a little bit longer. However, they do die out. And now we just have one super wizard left. We'll speed up through this cleanup. Because yes, the super wizard will run much faster than the giants. However, I believe the Giants do get one more hit off on that cannon and finish it off. So we walk away with 5,335 on that second attack. Now we're going to take a look at the cleanup attack on a Balloon Lagoon. This one had 5,275 remaining. and We had already taken out the random defenses on the right hand side. And we're left with only one rock artillery. So this is going to be a very quick, very fast, very effective strategy to take out the remaining portion of this base. Yeah, whenever you have over like 40-50% of the base taken out, and the second attack you're also using graveyards, you can just completely swarm and overpower the base. So not a whole lot to see on this one, just a pretty standard cleanup, but we did you know, have quite a bit of points left, and we got a bonus 116. So now we're going to take a look at the first hit on a skeleton park. A very unique layout, and I actually thought I might be able to one-shot it based on the positioning of the defenses. So I like to use the Flying Fortress and the Rocket Balloons with the Graveyards 
for the skeleton park. The Flying Fortress does a great job soaking up the damage of the minion huts. And a lot of times the uh, either the graveyards or the, the little like drop ship that comes out of the Flying Fortress will oftentimes tank for a lot of the other air targeting defenses. So here we drop two packs on that Tesla to take that out real quick. And then we drop in one pack on the air bombs to try and distract. The Tesla's distracted on the bottom. So we take out a take a pack of balloons and snipe it out with the Flying Fortress. The graveyard does get the rocket artillery on the left hand side, which is awesome. And then we only have a couple of balloons left. We drop two more packs on that last Tesla. So we are just cruising along. What's nice is that with this upper portion, there's only this one rapid rockets. So these balloons were able to take out a couple more defenses for free. Start to speed things up as things are getting close to the end. Fortunately, the balloons do get in range of the, the minion defense first. And we're almost able to take out the rapid rockets. Had that gone down, the air skeletons could have taken out four more buildings. Which is kind of crazy, but we still get 5,100 from that attack. Now next we're jumping over to the number three raid. We're taking a look at a barbarian camp cleanup. And you can see this one has almost 6,200 points available. Now from the first attack we did take out the rocket artillery and two of the air bombs. So there's really only this one air bombs in the corner here that we have to try and worry about. And then of course we just want to drop in one pack of rocket balloons per air targeting defense. And then just hope that that is enough that they all converge and take out the other defenses. But already all of the air targeting defenses have been destroyed, so now it's nothing left but clean up. So fast forward through that. That's what's crazy about the Barbarian Camp is if you set it up for an air attack on the second hit, you can ha have so many troops left over. So we even get a bonus 130. And last but not least, we are taking a look at the final cleanup attack on a capital peak. We cleared out the first portion of the base on the first hit, cleared out the uh, district hall on the second attack, so now we are going to clean up with air. They do have a lot of air targeting defenses left, but I figure with the you know, 15 packs of rocket balloons, it should be more than enough to take it out. We are distracting the blast bow with a pack of minions so that our first couple packs of balloons don't all get splashed by that hit. That could be quite devastating to an attack. Start clearing out the defenses in front of these rapid rockets so now we can directly target them. Blast bow goes down. We sent in a couple packs of balloons on the left hand side to take out the Inferno Tower. So now we just have that air defense and the Spear Flinger. And just like that, all of the defenses are destroyed. Now it's nothing left but the cleanup. But that's how we were able to attack, uh, I believe, six different bases and get almost. 6,000 per attack. So hope this video was helpful for you. Maybe you'll find some similar bases in your raid weekend. And if you want to help me out, you can like and subscribe. And there should be a couple more videos on the screen if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.